You can't review digital people the same way you review digital things. So to deconstruct the inhabitants of the technosphere, we summoned up the special skills of the pod. We are the pod. The pod's mission is to uh, infiltrate the global meta program, which is happening now. Online ambient scientists. The whole planet is becoming self-aware through increased communication systems. Digital proto-entities. We'll be a part of that when it happens in 2042. Global dance collective. Nature's trying to play catch up to us. I mean, there are certain examples sort of swarms of bees in South America moving along the ground slowly in, in the shape of a big car. A physical mind cocoon. We are the pod. Who are you? Human identity is being transformed by the digital revolution. We have electronic brains, digital eyes. Our memories are being stolen by SCSI drives. We are more machine than man. Our nervous system bursts out through the end of our fingers and shoots into computers and around the world and bounces off satellites. And it's like our ears are burrowing through the earth like massive silver moles. We're changing, we're evolving. Our ears are becoming smaller due to excessive headphone use. This is the future. Since the information revolution began in the 60s, mankind has moved into a new evolutionary era. The collision of flesh and silicon has created an enormous blooming of genetto identity diversity. Identity. Who are you? New substrands and protosecs are emerging all the time, thriving and feeding, emerging like lungfish from the pre-technological soup. Identity. The technical enthusiasts with their encyclopedic knowledge of product specifications and chip values are, more than anyone else, the actualizers of the digital revolution. Their quest for obscure computer modules and obsolete hardware units attracts them to the cramped, aesthetically impoverished environments of the second-hand computer store. The air is heavy with sweat and the scent of humid limbs. These are the things that are inside our computers. Oh, yes. What's this? Do you know what that is? Oh, yes, that's an MCI card that has memory, real memory. You have a very detailed knowledge of uh, specifications and uh, chips and... Uh, oh, yes. Small... Oh, yes. I, I live and breathe silicon, seriously. Yeah. Despite their incredible ability to catalogue numerical codes and their high visuospatial capabilities, they are easily confused by questions of spirituality. What about the silver suits and the flying through virtual landscapes and manipulating ray traced budgies and doing stuff like incredible visions of the future and crystalline palaces? Uh, I don't know about that, I'm afraid. The techies' work environment is a highly biotic place. There is a high infection rate amongst this identity group. They spend their time rummaging and fingering equipment, with grease, dead skin and saliva getting trapped within the intricate circuitry. Covered in dirt and grime, I can see filth. I can't believe you, you would touch it. I take that risk, because these chips are valuable. They are beautiful. They are silicon works of art. Their social environment is a breeding ground for choleras and intestinal infections. There is a short life expectancy amongst this group, many failing to live long enough to see the fruits of their intricate computations. For many people, the video game is their first experience of the virtual universe, the first taste of digital infinity. However, to most video gamers, the pristine worlds of the electronic matrix, the wonderful bit-mapped mountains, the beautifully rendered fractal skylines, these images merely serve as a backdrop to some grotesque act of bestial violence. These people become addicted to instant gratification. They're intoxicated on the electronic amplification of their own power. A flick of their wrists sends a bullet flying into the face of a terrorist. A movement of their little finger sends a massive digital fist plunging into the stomach of an innocent oriental girl. They're locked into a descending spiral of hatred and blood lust. It's like their souls have been sucked out of their bodies. Their eyes are just dead holes, staring into nothingness. The Nethead is perhaps the most sophisticated technological identity group of them all. They buy their clothes from online sources, chat on the net, socialize entirely in the digital universe. I'm an entirely amorphous personality. I can be whoever I want to be on the net. I'm an old man, a doctor, a cyclist. Sometimes I can be a postman. You know, it's incredible. When you look at me, I'm nothing. With my shriveled skin and loose face, I'm worthless, like a lump of flesh. Look at this computer, it's beautiful, it's perfect, it's clean.
A new program which can be downloaded from the internet called Online Traveller allows users to meet up and socialise within a 3D environment. Freed from physicality and fixed notions of identity, the space is a catalyst for spiritual and philosophical discourse. Does your body disgust you? Are you sitting in a pool of your own yeast? It is an environment in which the technologically empowered are free to wander and pursue enlightenment. Alas. Talk to me, Skullface, talk. Who are you? What, what are you doing here? Why, why are you looking at me? I, I want to move away from you. Hey, why are you being such a prick, man? Don't move away. You paranoid or something? Is there anywhere I can go here to be alone? Why do you want to be alone? Be alone. The chat this it is, is not an environment to be alone in. It is an environment to socialize. Stop ganging up on me. Shoreditch in East London is fast becoming home to the new media elite. The whole of Shoreditch is going online. From his real-world newsagent in Old Street, online grocer Imran Singh sails through the fractal prisms of the new electronic online wholesalers, looking for bargains. Yeah, the Netbike is a communal uh, bike which is um, for everyone to use here in Shoreditch and you can surf the net while cycling around. Um, Dynamo powers the uh, computer system within it and you can be cycling around uh, Shoreditch physically, yeah, but um, virtually you can travel through any geography that you want to. You can, you can be uh, hurtling through Istanbul or you can be just shooting around and about in a Bengal bazaar, you know. The bike is, uh, is, is a fully um, insulated feedback loop. A man and machine, a perfect cybernetic organism. Shoreditch has been transformed. Everyone here is either online, logged on, or just surfing. Hey! You got spare 10 pence for a new mouse! Hey, up, you! Who are you? Who are you? Identity.